Hey guys, this is Abhishek from GadgetStudios.com and today we are going to do the quick unboxing and full review of the Intex Cloud FX, which is another Firefox phone, uh, which has been recently launched in the market. And we have already done a hands-on review of this particular device, so we have given you a much more information. In this particular review, we are going to tell you what all we experienced while using this phone. I have been using this phone for the last two to three days. I have used this phone on and off, so. In terms of the overall experience, the kind of ex feelings which I have for the phone are kind of mixed and I will tell you about that in detail. So this is how the box looks like. This is the Intex Cloud FX and we have the image of the phone which is being shown in the front. On this side we can see there are some specifications mentioned. So it has a 3.5 inch capacitive display. It is a TFT display not an IPS panel and it has 1 GHz of processor, 2 MP camera at the back and we do not have a front camera on this device we do have wi-fi and edge connectivity this device does not support 3g although it is a dual sim device but both the sim card slot will support 2g only and then when it comes to the application which will company installed you will get firefox browser which will company installed you have a firefox marketplace still from where you can actually download application which are kind of light in terms of the weight facebook application will come pre-installed you have connect a2 which is an alternative application for using whatsapp on this device because whatsapp is officially not available on this platform we do have some pre-loaded games as well which will come pre-installed on this device at the back side we have the specifications written so it has a one gigahertz processor the os is firefox os we have wi-fi connectivity two megapixel of camera at the back which is a fixed focus camera and we have 1250 milliampere battery which is a lithium polymer ion battery which we have on this device we have hindi and tamil languages supported as well on this device as far as phone language is concerned we do have a gravity sensor this device in terms of the price is very low in terms of the price it will cost you only 2000 rupees you can buy it from snapdeal as of now so it is available on snapdeal to be bought it will come in two colors black or white you can select in between these two colors and then if we talk about the mrp which is mentioned in the box it is 2690 again in your city if you are not able to buy it you can contact the local retailer which might be having these devices in stocks as well as they have also bought these devices in bulk as per the information which we have and then we have one gsm handset that is the phone inside usb cable a charger a battery headphone user manual and a warranty card which will be there inside the package so let's open the package and take a look what we have inside and the first thing which we have inside is the phone itself again i have already opened the package and i have inserted the battery into the phone this is how it looks like the phone looks very good it is a very handy phone very light in terms of the weight so there is no problem as far as the weight of the device or uh, when it comes to one hand usage you can easily use this device with one hand it has a tft capacitive dis display which is again not too great in terms of the viewing angles as you can see from some of the angles you will not be able to see the display uh, the color fading will have the discoloration of the display will happen all or you can see the blackening of the display will keep on happening when you take a look over this display from extreme angles so these are all things which will happen again it is a tft display at this price point you cannot expect much as far as the display of the phone is concerned the build quality of the phone is really nice this is something which i really like for this particular price point the kind of build quality this device has is very good which is something which i really appreciate and we will tell you about the phone in detail let's take a look what we have inside the package apart from the phone so once we open the package we get these things uh, which includes a warranty card which will come within the package and it also has a waste collection center that means you can actually get this phone repaired as well uh, there are some service centers as well which are mentioned and then you have waste collection center where you can actually submit this phone in case you are not using it you have a standard micro usb to usb cable which can be used for data syncing as well as charging and then we have the headphones which also come within the package so you get in-ear headphones within the package of this phone these are the kind of headphones you will get again the quality the sound quality from these headphones is not going to be too great uh, bass levels will be very low uh, but when it comes to the treble the treble will be higher and the sound is clear when it comes to uh, the button we do have a mic module over there with a button to pick the call although it does not have volume control this is how the audio lead looks like and apart from these two things what all we have inside is this charger this charger should be one ampere in terms of the output current let me just take a look 
सो इट इज़ नॉट वन एम पी एर चार्जर इट इज़ हाफ एम पी एर चार्जर फाइव हंड्रेड मिली एम पी एर फाइव हंड्रेड मिली एम पी एर ऑफ करंट यू विल गेट फ्रॉम द डिवाइस फ्रॉम दिस चार्जर बेसिकली वेन एवर यू चार्ज इट एंड हेर वी हैव द यूजर मैनुअल फॉर द इंटेक्स क्लाउड अफेक्ट्स एंड दीज आर ऑल द थिंग्स विच यू गेट विद इन द पैकेज सो लेट मी जस्ट कीप ऑल दीज थिंग्स असाइड फॉर अ वाइल एंड लेट्स टेक अ क्लोज अ लुक ओवर द फोन अगेन विच इज़ द इंटेक्स क्लाउड अफेक्ट्स विच वी हैव विद सो लेट मी जस्ट कीप दीज थिंग्स असाइड and here we have the phone so here we have this intex cloud fx and it looks very good in terms of the build quality as i already told you when it comes to the port and connectivity i can tell you the ports on the top you have 3.5 mm audi jack you have the power and sleep key over there we have no button nothing no connectivity on this port on this part basically at the bottom we have a primary microphone we have a little in end remove the back cover i'm not able to locate a secondary microphone on this device this device does not have a secondary microphone for noise cancellation or for video chat and then we have firefox branding over there the loudspeaker is over there we have two megapixel camera over there which has some plastic and i will just remove this plastic so that i can show you the quality of the pictures as well once i test this camera during this review on this side we can see that we have the micro usb port for data syncing and charging we have the plastic button the volume locker key which is a plastic button gives you good amount of feedback and at at the top you have the power and sleep key so once we remove the back cover i can show you the connectivity and the battery and how does the sim card slot look like so this is how the battery will go inside it is a 1250 mAh battery let me just remove this battery from the phone so that i can show you the connectivity so we have sim card slot 1 and the sim card slot 2 sim card slot 1 is this sim card slot 2 is this both will accept a normal size sim card you also have a slot for the micro sd memory card so you can insert a micro sd memory card and expand the storage of this device when it comes to the internal storage the internal storage is not too much we will just show you uh, when it comes to the specs i can tell you that the internal storage is definitely uh, very less which is approximately 128 mb and when it comes to the ram the ram on this device is 256 mb but again the kind of os it, this device is running uh, even with this hardware specification with this much amount of less amount of ram and very low amount of memory the device is responsive and it runs smoothly at times again if you load this phone with too many application then definitely it will give you good amount of lag while you are doing things while you are launching application but if you use this phone with the decent number of application which come pre installed then lag is something which you will not see much on this device but again if you run too many applications in the background you will see slight amount of lag so again this device is not too great in terms of hardware specification at this price point they have given decent hardware specification which is again not too great and not too bad as well this is how the lock screen look like and once we unlock the phone we can go to the home screen or we can launch the camera directly from here we have nice metal gear piece over there we have the touch capacitor button over there which is again colored in white but it does not have led backlit and let me just unlock the phone so this is how we unlock the phone and once we unlock the phone this is how the home screen will look like the home screen have icons for the camera for the shortcut for the camera gallery fm radio you also have fm radio as well on this device this is the marketplace which we have we also have calendar application clock application you also have a data usage monitor application as well you have an email client as well which will support yahoo gmail and microsoft exchange account as well we have a music player video player then we have file manager connect a2 which is an alternative for whatsapp you do have facebook and youtube application which also come pre installed and apart from these we have some games which are there and again all these applications are actually web enabled so you need some internet connectivity for the application which are kind of pre installed especially when it comes to games but there are some application which are kind of local on this phone so for example if you launch the music player you do not need internet connectivity and the music player will load automatically and will list all the data and gallery application is again also an offline application the calendar application is also an offline application so there are some application which are kind of native application which will not require internet connectivity on this phone including the file browser as well or data usage monitor all these application does not allow does not need internet connectivity you do have a data usage monitor which is also uh, can be used uh, once you insert any sim card you don't even need to connect to internet to actually check the usage so even when you are offline you can actually find out how much of data usage you have done within a month so taking a look over the phone dialer i can show you the phone dialer over there this is how the phone dialer look like it is a normal stock 
kind of phone dialer uh, we do not have an option to make a video call on this device which is something which you might miss and let's take a look over the other things first of all let's take a look over the notification center this is how the notification center will look like you will have notification for all the applications which you have on the phone so if there is any message or unread email it will show up over here we have toggles over here for the wi-fi for data for bluetooth for airplane as well as you can go to settings directly from here so once you tap on this particular icon you will be taken to the settings where you have the option to control the airplane mode you have the option to connect and disconnect the wi-fi you have a dual sim manager you have a call setting manager you have messaging settings and cellular data settings as well which will get enabled once you insert a sim card we do have bluetooth option as well so you can transfer files using bluetooth on this device from other phones we do have internet sharing option as well so you can create a wi-fi hotspot on this device and share the 3g internet and we have these uh, default configuration which is there we do have sound settings over there which again allows you to set different sound volume for ringer and notification and you can set a different volume for alarm as well and in order to come back you need to tap over here the moment you tap on the home screen it will, on this particular home button it will take you to the home screen which is outside these settings here we have the display settings and display settings does have control for the manual brightness whereas we do not have automatic brightness supported on this device because it does not have the proximity and embed light sensors we do have date and time settings over there we also have language option under the language option you can change the language to hindi or to these languages i am not sure what these two other languages are but again they are indic languages which is good so you have all these options over there when it comes to the keyboard you can also change the built-in keyboard you can change the language on the built-in keyboard you can disable the vibration from the device whenever you tap on any key you can just uncheck this option over here and apart from this if we take a look over other things we do have a screen lock mechanism in which you can actually set a passcode lock so in case you would like to have a passcode to unlock the phone you can set that and when we talk about do not track you do have do not track options over there which allows you to set this option of do not tell the website and apps anything about your tracking preferences so in this case no no application on this device will be able to track what you are doing so you have all these application permissions over there which you can adjust and change you can also uninstall application which are not uh, coming pre-installed on this device so you can uninstall those application but for those application which come pre-installed you may not get that option so this is a third party application which is pre-installed but you can always remove it but when it comes to a file manager i guess uh, okay or for the file manager as well you have this option but when it comes to the firefox browser this option is grayed out that means you cannot uninstall application especially which are kind of native application on this device you do have usb storage which you can enable in case you would like to connect this to a pc and connect, transfer the data from the phone to the pc or from the pc to the phone we have application storage area so out of 128 mb of internal storage only 72.9 mb is free on the device to install application we do have 66.9 mb available to the user and when we talk about the media storage we do you can actually store data we have around 8.9 mb available on the media storage for for music picture videos and other things however i would recommend you to go for a micro sd memory card once we once you buy the phone so that you can store all the data on the micro sd memory card which is supported we do have device information over there which again lifts the software version as well as the model number so again the software updates will be pushed from intex when we talk about the battery the battery indication is over there we do have a power saving mode as well on this device so you can enable the power saving mode and you can save battery level on this device you can also enable the power saving mode automatically at a particular battery percentages so you can set that all these things you can do and once we come out we can see that we have nothing apart from these now so we have an option to send the feedback to mozilla firefox in case you would like to do that let's check out the camera quality of this device and we will take a photo of my iphone 5 over there and i will take this photo in artificial light as well as without artificial light so let me just first of all okay you need a memory card to be inserted into this device before you can actually take a photo so let me just insert a micro sd memory card into this device so this is how the camera ui look like on this device as you can see and again i'm going to take a photo from this camera uh, we have a 2 megapixel camera at the back whereas we do not have a front camera on this device which is a missing thing so let's take a photo as of now in this light scenario i have some artificial light falling on my iphone 5 
and let me just take this photo again without this light and let's see how the overall quality uh, looks like when we take a photo like this so again the camera is fixed focus and it is not a very great camera so don't expect too much from the camera on this device i can show you both of these photos one by one so this is the one which we have taken with light and as you can see this photo looks good and again pinch to zoom is not very fluid on the screen and the touch screen as well is not very responsive to the finger of touch it is slightly responsive but it does take some time to give you the response whenever you tap on it again the photo is not clear but looks decent overall with this 2 megapixel camera whereas the one which we have taken without the artificial light this one looks horrible so again don't expect much from the camera on this device this device cannot also record uh, cannot record high definition video as well so you cannot take high definition video from this device but you can record video from the rear camera which is again going to be recorded at very low resolution i can show you the display quality as well on this device and when it comes to the display quality we have some photos also on this device so let me just take a look over these photos so i have some photos of my uh, trip basically when i took it so i can show you some of those photos it is taking some time to load these photos anyways i will take a look over them later on taking a look over the applications we have gallery application over there we have fm radio as well which we can enable even when the headphones oh, okay you need to connect the headphones in order to have fm radio on this device which is something which is going to be there let me just connect this device to wi-fi and then we will show you some other things related to the application which will come installed so here we have the application store on this device as you can see we can install a couple of applications and games when it comes to games you do have some basic as well as some better games on this device we do have this cut the rope game as well which will be around 3 to 4 mb in terms of the space to be very precise it is 3.80 mb so these are some of the heavy games which you can install you can also install candy crush and you do have pac-man as well which you can install on this device so you don't need to basically create an account to download application all these application web based application you do have some other applications over there which include file manager you can also install flashlight application and then you have some other applications all these applications are kind of light in terms of the overall size so they won't take much of the storage area but there are games which might be heavy around 5 to 6 mb will be the size of these games once you install them so we do have some other application which includes clock so over there you can see that the clock has the functionality like this which gives you an unlock you have a timer you have a stopwatch as well within the clock application you can monitor the data usage now over here so it will give you the information about how much data you have used especially the cellular data not the wi-fi one you have an email client which you can configure and use different kind of email accounts you can also do a manual setup we have connect a2 which is again for whatsapp and when we have, we also have facebook application which will also come pre-installed so you can use facebook you can upload photos from this device using this application and now we have just launched the youtube application so most of these, most of these application which is there on this device uh, will take you to the mobile interface so that you can go ahead and uh, do browsing and use these application in the web html format which is supported to be run on this device so now we have loaded youtube application which is actually taking some amount of time because it has loaded m.youtube.com and uh, in order to play a video i can just play a video from our channel and show you the quality of the same how is the overall quality will look like you will get an idea so let me just type gadgets to use and again typing experience on this device is pretty decent again these keys are small in terms of the size you do not have continuous input supported on this device but you can always type on this device without much of an issue so we have just tried to locate our channel and let me just type gadgets to use intro so that we can locate the right video which we want to play so once i type gadgets to use intro it will load up the intro video which we have and let me just play this for you and this will give you an idea about the quality of video playback you can expect again you cannot play high definition videos on this device but high quality videos can be played so videos with high definition will be played in high quality format and again they will take some amount of time as it is taking right now let me just play this video and then i will show you the viewing angles and the sound quality as well 
now one thing which i have just realized is that some of the videos might not play on this device especially even they are from youtube in that case you will have to find a video which is compatible and you will you need to play that video after that so let me just play some other video from our channel i think some of the video will be supported so let me just try for the same or maybe i just randomly play any video which i just get after this particular event so let me just play this one so again uh, the video can get played at high quality not at high definition and but it will take some time to get played on this device uh, again the device has limited amount of memory so it will buffer the video at times and then it will play it but again the overall video playback will be smooth enough once it starts playing that video and you have proper connectivity when it comes to the kind of internet you are using either you are using wi-fi or edge but the quality will not be high definition let me just forward this video so that we can have a look over this one again this video also is the video format or the mime type is actually not supported so this video also is not getting played anyways you can play good quality of videos on this device but again the resolution is something which might be an issue and the file format is also which could be an issue at times when it comes to other connectivity i can show you the messaging application this is how the messaging application look like you can create a new message over here and again the keyboard is pretty good to type with i do not face any issues but again it does not have swipe to type and you need to type uh, very precisely because the keyboard keys are very adjacent to each other they are not rightly spaced but you can always type in the landscape mode as well once you enable the rotation on this device that can be done under settings so in all i would like to give a thumbs up to this device and before i end this video i would like to compare this device with another firefox phone which is also launched in india so here we have the spice 51 which is the another firefox phone now here we have the spice firefox phone which is another firefox phone and these are the two firefox phone which are launched in india as of now and they are available in the market uh, you can buy it from uh, different retail stores wherever they are available you can also buy it from snapdeal so this one is snapdeal exclusive this one is also snapdeal exclusive but for a limited point of time so you can always buy it from the retail shops as well later on but as of now they are available on snapdeal when we compare these two devices both of these devices are running on the same hardware chipset that means we have the same hardware chipset on both of these phones which is powering them so we have we have same processor same amount of ram same amount of internal storage so hardware wise they are same but when it comes to the specs they are slightly different we have one gigahertz of processor on both of these phones but when it comes to the camera the rear camera on the intex cloud fx is 2 megapixel whereas we have 1.3 megapixel camera on the spice fire one we have led flash over there whereas we do not have led flash on this device and when it comes to the top we can see that we have the same kind of connectivity we have power and sleep key over there whereas the power and sleep key is actually on this side and on this side we have the volume locker and this side we have the volume locker on this phone we have the micro usb port for data syncing and charging on the side whereas it is on the top on the firefox uh, phone of spice when it comes to the front the front is also slightly different however the display is same both of these devices have ips uh, tft display so it is a tft display which does not give you great viewing angles on both of these phones so both of these phones have almost the same kind of display you can see uh, which again is not too great in terms of viewing angles the color production is almost the same as well so you can see the ui the ui is looking the same everything is same the o uh, when it comes to the software and features software and features is exactly the same on both of these phones you can install application hardware wise they will behave the same so in terms of benchmark they are exactly equal to each other but when it comes to the front camera we do have a front camera on spice fire one which is an added advantage over this phone whereas the spice fire one is actually available for three 300 rupees more price as compared to the Intex Cloud FX, which is available for 2000 rupees on Snapdeal, whereas this one is available for 2300. But with Mac, with more 300 rupees, which you pay for the Spice Fire One, you actually also get a front camera on this device, which is missing over here. And I can show you the front camera interface on this one. And over here we have the camera interface. I can toggle to the front camera, and this is how the front camera will look like. Let me just take a photo from the front camera as well to show you the quality. So this is how the quality will look like from the front camera again it is not too great but pretty decent for 
uh, video chat is there especially for average kind of video, ch video chat it is pretty decent you can do uh, video chat from the front camera and for selfies it is again not too great but uh, quite decent i would say for the price uh, which you are pay paying for this phone so in all i would like to say that the front camera is definitely an advantage i have also taken some other shots from the front camera which again look uh, decent not too great and the rear camera is also pretty good on this device however it is 1.3 megapixel and this one is 2 megapixel but again the overall quality of the photo which you will get from both of these two devices will almost be the same and there will not be a major difference so when it comes to the box contents you get headphones within the package you also get headphones within the package of this phone as well everything else remains the same but you also get a silicon case uh, which protects the phone uh, in the case of spice fire one whereas you do not get a silicon case over there on this device inside the package as we ha already have uh, told you and showed you the specs and the box contents so in all we would like to give a thumbs up to the intex cloud fx we would like to say that both of these phones are same in terms of the software as well as in terms of the hardware however there are some differences which includes the front camera on this phone and there is no front camera on this one when it comes to the battery the battery on this device is higher we have a 1400 milliampere hour battery on the spice fire one over here and we have 1250 milliampere hour battery on the intex cloud fx so there are some advantages which are there with spice firefox phone which includes uh, the camera uh, again the uh, the camera is again slightly lesser but the uh, camera quality is almost the same on both of these two phones whereas when we talk about the storage storage when it comes to the storage uh, the storage also remains the same but when it comes to the battery the battery over here is 1250 milliampere hour which is 1400 milliampere hour on this one and when it comes to the front camera the front camera is there on the spice firefox phone whereas we do not have a front camera on the index cloud fx so in case you have any questions related to these two phones further we can always help you you can leave your questions in the comment section below we would like to say that this device is a pretty basic device when it comes to uh, counting this one as a smartphone the kind of smartphone experience you have on this phone is again kind of limited because you cannot actually install almost many applications on this phone because the phone will become too much laggy when it comes to usage it will be very difficult to use in that case but with default application which company installed you can always use this one this could be a pretty decent choice for anyone who would like to move from a feature phone to a smartphone and the overall performance will remain good good enough if you don't load too many things on this device again this device has light application but make sure you do not load too many applications on this one so that's all from us as far as battery backup goes you will get around one day or slightly more than one day battery backup from this device when you use it in day to day usage that's all from us thanks for watching this video in case you have any questions you can leave them in the comment section below this video you can like this video if this video help you by clicking the like button below you can subscribe to our youtube video channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below thanks for watching this video this is abhishek signing off thank you